know, uh, when I uh, began running for statewide office 20 years ago, I was told that I should tell folks a little bit about myself. And so many of you over these 20 years may have heard this story, but some of you have not. Uh, my dad came to this country in uh, 1935. Your was 17. He spoke virtually no English. And he had nothing more, really, than a shirt on his back. And this country gave him a chance to succeed. My mom came from a slightly different background. She was the daughter of a farmer in the Midwest who raised corn and cattle. And as a matter of fact, my grandfather gave me my first job in life which was shoveling manure on his farm. <laughs> and Cynthia tells me it was pretty good training. <laughs> and uh, I, I can say that because I'm not in the Senate chamber. <laughs> uh, this is a very moving and exciting day for me because it fulfills one of the missions, not specifically to be in the United States Senate, but to be of service, to give back which my mom and dad gave me values they gave to my brother David, who was here, and his family, to my family, and to all of us who participate in public life. And many of you are involved in giving back, in giving of yourselves, in making a difference. And I thank each of you for doing it, for giving of yourself in that way. Uh, this is a very exciting moment for me, but it's really about the people of Connecticut. There's some very eminent people here who have extraordinarily distinguished careers in public life, but I owe this day to the people of Connecticut who for 20 years have welcomed me in their homes, in their parades, in their fairs, into their lives, and they will continue to have me there, <laughs> like it or not. <laughs> so to them, I am truly grateful. To my family, most importantly, to Cynthia, who has really made it possible for me to do this today, and every day. And uh, I want to thank all of you for being here and sharing in this great occasion. Because of you, Connecticut had an election, not an auction. <laughs> because of you, people made a difference. The person, I should say, who gave me uh, the thought about election, not an auction, is here today, <laughs> former Senator John Crow, uh, <laughs> who had a similar race and came back against similar odds. And the lesson of this election is that people can make a difference. And when your sons or your daughters or your relatives ever question whether one individual can make a difference, you know that he or she can. And it's the only thing that ever has, as Margaret Mead once said. So I just want to thank you all. Uh, I wish I could throw a more elaborate party. You're welcome to come with me to Hartford. There's a very great inaugural wall up there going on tonight. But I just want to say from the bottom of my heart how much your friendship, your friendship and support has meant to me. I will always remember it. And in the toughest moments of this job, in the most challenging times, the people of Connecticut, your help and support, are what will make the difference for me. Thank you so much. And